Body going at it in Smash Ultimate. I want to say this is like the one of the best Almars, and I don't know who else is really good with Robin in the game other than Wadi. Might be a, the best Robin. Yeah, well, let's see what these two Titans have in store. Yeah, Alomar has been terrorizing people a lot in this game. That new up smash and uh, you know the combo off of into up air. I mean, just oh, 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 oh. the Calm terror down. continues. Oh. Calm down, Shootout is not Prime Saga yet. I know you gotta you gotta save this stuff for like oh the tournament God. that matters. That double jab setup to spike was crazy. Now the thing about Shuton though uh, that from Smash 4 is uh, I really um, consider him one of the more aggressive Alomars. Like he uses Pikmin to just approach and do tons of damage. And I'm really excited to see that that hasn't really changed in this game. If anything, it's just made him even, uh, even better. Yeah, a terror for sure. As Shuton has, now has all the aggressive abilities that he needs. Especially at lower percents. You can see Wadi already losing his second stock. Oh my god. Jumping Alomar. from the ledge. Almar's damage output continues to be insane. You blink for a second and you're at kill percent. And Shuton's going to work. Up smash out of shield. 63%. So that, yeah, 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 that's real. You know, Wadi's just trying to approach, but every time he throws an unsafe move on Almar's shield, he just gets destroyed by the Pikmin onslaught. I mean, at this point, he's just trying to land on the ground. He's even using the gyro to throw below him just to create oh some type of space, so some, uh, some safe space for him to land. Nah, but Shujan's like, nah, this is my gyro now. <laughs> Thanks for the free projectile. Look at me. I am the gyro now. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely the captain. <laughs> yeah, I think in combination with the purples too, it's so much shield pressure because now you have to block the purples and the gyro, oh my goodness. And he, he was even able to beat. escape the side Oh, beat. and the snipe. Three stock. Why is Monique so strong in this game? Three stock. Less than two no minutes game. required yeah. to take a game from Wadi. Wow. I, I, don't know, I know a lot of people don't like Olimar matches because they can drag on, but uh, not when Shuton's playing. Man, Man we need more Shuton, Olimar. Where, where are our SoCal Olimars? Why aren't where's they here I, taking I'm notes? Hip, man. Where are you at, I'm here? Take the notes. See what he's doing. We'll put you on stream every time. Dang. Great <laughs> stuff, man. Shuton is insane with this character. And uh, Wadi, I know he's been soul searching for it. Oh. Ooh. Okay, so he did actually use uh, Soul Rosalina pretty much at one of the MSMs and actually won the tournament. That was a few months back, so I want to see if he's really uh, gotten more done with this character. I thought he had to switch off at the end. Uh, main, he went mainly Rosalina. He, he did go Rosa for a majority of the tournament, for sure. Yeah, so... Um, You're right. I, 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 he might have gone, actually, all, all Rosa. I know, he, I know he switched a few times, but maybe just trying to say that he does use his character in tournaments as, like, future secondary. And uh, I know the Buzz recently has been putting more time in the Rosa, but other than that, I just haven't seen that many people uh, get this character uh, that much shine in this game. I mean, just the success rate from the Olimars or the, the Rosalinas that we've seen, it hasn't exactly been high. Yeah. And especially with, like, Luma being able to go into free fall so easily. Yeah. And uh, the range nerf on the jab as well. Uh, a lot of things from Rosa that she used the previous game just aren't as strong. But, uh, wow, not letting him get with that super punch will up the uh, shoot on just continues to go to work. Ooh, using the whistle in case Wadi decided to get a little aggressive off stage. Still able to make it back oh, with the white Pikmin. The white Pikmin, you never want to be in a position where you had to deal with that. Already took 29% just from one exchange. And it looked like the moves that Wadi was using weren't actually able to hit the white Pikmin like that was latched onto him. Yeah, the thing about the white Pikmin, or Pikmin in general in this game, is that you actually have to aim a hitbox that will hit exactly where the Pikmin is on your body. So if your hitbox doesn't actually go cover that part, it will stay on you. Which means like down air, forward air, up air from from Rosalina actually won't be able to. She has to use Nair. Yes, it's a really um, questionable buff. <laughs> I, I would say a, an unfortunate <laughs> obstacle that others have to deal with. <laughs> Maybe some would call it a blessing. Yeah, well, he's getting blessed by this Olimar right now. I'm <laughs> on another three stock. Up smash out of shield. Monique's still in the fray. He might have, honestly, he doesn't even need the other pick at this point. I mean, this is something that I see other Olimars doing, and I think it's really smart, is just always maintaining. Instead of, like, resorting to always having three, just keep the ones you need. If you only need a blue and a purple, oh. just hang on to blue and purple. 
And another three stock coming out from Shutan. Double three stock from Shutan. Why he's one of the best players in the United States, but Shutan just made it look like that was just like round one full match, you know, super, super dominant there. Mm -hmm. And uh, honestly, man, that's just rough. But you know, know what? This might be just like base Wadi because, yeah. uh, you know, Senpai is not, not in the oh, venue right now. Right. He's, he not even, have those. he's not even at 10% of his full power. That's dude. right. <laughs> that that was like not even half his cunning. It's fair. So it's we'll fair see we'll see what the body looks like tomorrow once yeah. you know oh, I'm all for, the buffs I'm for are sure, up. Sure, uh, looking to see how Y performs tomorrow again. He's in that bracket path with uh, YB. He's mm -hmm. like the first obstacle in YB's path to like the insane top eight. So see uh, Wadi versus YB already has me like shaking my head with just anticipation because I don't know. How YB is going to get around the obstacles that Wadi's going to yeah, be putting that out? That gyro is going to be so good against the gyro, the the spin, which reflects oh, yeah. projectiles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just being a really combo character, uh, easy to combo character like Samus in general. But who knows, man? YB is surprising a lot of people. Yeah, definitely. Well, we have T back on the stage, and now he's joined by Gluttony. Oh, so man. if you're a big fan of Wario play, hey, we got some more. Yeah, and uh, Gluttony's Wario definitely stands out uh, from the rest. He's so much knowledge in this uh, character. He's been using Wario since Brawl. Even using Wario in Smash 4, where a lot of people just, you know, wasn't a strong character. Mm -hmm. But he was still getting really good results in Europe and a few times when he did show up in the uh, U.S. as well with this character. So now this character is like, much better in this game. He's been super dominant. And, uh, yeah, he's just a super strong player overall. I really want to see what he's going to do here. Against I mean, his just his combo setups in general are already strong, and then you um, accompany it with just like the the soft hits that Wario puts out, which allow him to follow up easily, is just makes him that much more of a stronger player. And then we've already seen what T can bring to the table, but how is he going to be able to escape all the setups that Gluttony's going to throw at him? Yeah, it's uh, a really interesting match for sure. Yeah, and uh, I'm just trying to think like about the Japanese Warriors in general. I, right now, maybe Zachary is like the highest placing like Wario representative in Japan. Zachary? Yeah, it's uh, one of the secondaries. Okay. Oh, well, but, uh, comparing like secondary Wario to like one of the best Warriors like in general, I, uh, I'm really curious what T's matchup knowledge is going to be like here. Well, 